if we have an object with a known amount of net charge, can we predict how another electric charge will react when they pass nearby? Yes, we can by electric field, thanks to Faraday. Good morning, class. Uh, welcome to Remote Learning Day 6. Our topic is electric charge and electric field. Now, let me move myself down here so you see the slide. So, electric charge. Why it is important for us to study it? Because uh, many natural phenomena, static shock, when, for example, you touch a doorknob uh, in a winter day, you experience zap, uh, is because the water molecule in the in the air there are not that many water molecules in the air so that's why there are lots of imbalance of charge around us and the consequence is the static electricity huge number of application in distribution and use of electricity ultimately responsible for the interaction between matter other than gravity static electricity electric charge and its conservation Object can be charged by rubbing as I show you in the classroom that if you take a fire and if you rub with a rod what would happen? Uh, the rod will get charged and if you bring the rod to the electroscope what can you do with that? You can see in the leaf in the electroscope will be repelling each other if you bring the rod at, at the top of the electroscope uh, or another experience you can do is by rubbing a balloon on on with your hair so if you rub a balloon against your hair what what do you see what can you do with that you can transfer electrons from your hair to the balloon and what can you do with that balloon you can stick the balloon on the wall and the balloon will stick to the wall or you can separate salt you can separate paper from the salt if you mix uh, salt and paper you 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 bring that balloon close to the mix salt and paper the balloon will pick up all the papers leaving the salt behind okay uh, charge are neither created nor destroyed they can be redistributed so this is conservation of charges like conservation of energy charge are neither ne uh, neither created nor destroyed they can be redistributed for example if we rough glass rod with silk charges will be redistributed between silk and rod and we can measure the charge that a rod got from silk. Electric charge is conserved. The arithmetic sum of total charge cannot change in any interaction. Static electricity. Electric charge and its conservation. Charge comes in two types, positive and negative. Like charges repel and opposite charges attract. So in the first case, you see that two charged plastic rulers repel each other. They repel because this is negatively charged, this is neg negatively charged, negative repel negative. The scenario number two, two charged glass rod repel is because this is positively charged, this is positively charged, positive doesn't like positive. That negative and positive, negative attracts positive positive attract negative let's go to the next electric slide charge in atom we talk about atom uh, many times when we are talking about electricity we have to understand atom and because inside the atom when you look inside the atom you see uh, electrons you see uh, neutrons and you see uh, protons so electrons are negatively charged negative 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 coulomb and protons are positively charged positive 1.6 times 10 raised to 19 coulomb 
So when we talk about electricity, we are talk about atoms because the charge, the atoms are the home of positive and negative charges. So electrons negative e, which is I just said that negative 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 coulomb protons is plus e, which is numeric value is plus 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 coulomb. Neutron no charge means zero coulomb. Atom consists of nucleus. So atom consists of nucleus surrounded by by electrons. Atoms are neutral. Number of protons is equal to number of electrons. So there are about 118 atoms in the periodic table. And they are atoms because they have same number of electrons and protons. When they don't have same number of electrons and protons, we don't call them atoms. We call them either cation or anion. As you see that most of the atom volume is occupied by electrons. Uh, because there is an electron cloud. Tiny uh, uh, nucleus, uh, tiny compared with the rest of the atom because the, most of the atom is hollow. Hmm. As um, as experienced by J.J. Thompson? No. J.J. Thompson was the one who invented the electron in 1897. Rutherford? Yeah. Rutherford, you remember Rutherford um, used the alpha particle and he shoot alpha particle and you know most most of the alpha particle went through the atom and some of the alpha particle bounced back with uh, with with angle so meaning that in the middle there is something uh, and that is the nucleus uh, but uh, but most of the spaces where the alpha particle just went through empty space so 99.9% .9 of the atom. So proton is the positive charge, 1.67 times 10 raised to negative 27. Neutron is 1.67 times 10 raised to uh, negative 27. But electron mass is very smaller compared to the mass of proton and neutron. <coughs> Elementary charges. Electron and proton have charge. I said that many times. 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 coulomb. By convention, the charge of electron is negative. Electric charge is quantized. Any amount of charge must be multiple of E. That's what quantized mean. Okay. A neutral particle can decay into charged particles. And two particles can annihilate their charges, but the total amount of charge in the system never changes. Electric charge in the atom. Atom is electrically neutral, I said that. Rubbing charge object by moving electrons from one to other. Electric charge in the atom. So eventually charge rod will return to neutral state is because there are water molecule in the air. Water molecule is polar, polarized. Uh, because electronegativity of oxygen is greater than electronegativity of hydrogen. So that's why it is polar. Although the, this molecule is neutral, but it's polar. So this is suck up, um, is exist in the air, this water molecule, and it suck up the charge. Water molecule is polar molecule neutral overall but charge not evenly distributed as you see that some material allow charge to move freely we call them conductors like metals salt water and other materials they do not allow electrons to move freely we call them insulator like glass in this case you see that this one is and the metal this one is the metal the second one scenario number two is the metal is because it allow the is allow um, the transfer of electron but it does not allow the transfer of electron 
Okay. Metal object can be charged by conduction. So what is conduction? Conduction is charged by by touching. Charged by touching. So this is uh, charged by touching over here, over here happening. So neutral metal rod, charged metal object, and metal rod acquires charge by contact. So in um, induced charge, so metal object can be charged by conduction. Conduction is charged by touching. All right, so I'm gonna end over here, and I will. Um, I'm gonna put a do um, put a exit slip, and I will continue uh, tomorrow. Four generated by two charged particle on one another.